Hello YouTube, today I'll be doing something different. I'm going to be talking about one episode of an anime I particularly like, which is Attack on Titan. And I'll be talking about episode 24 today. So this video, as the title suggests, it's supposed to be a review, but I would like to talk about more about the scenes that I kind of remember of and comment on them. I will be spoiling this episode for those who haven't watched it yet, so I would suggest to click off this video if you're one of those people. Okay, so to start off this episode, we have Annie stabbing herself with a blade coming out of her ring to turn into the female titan. This wasn't a surprise for many of us because some of us read the manga and I don't. And I knew that the female titan was Annie because um, their faces were so similar and Annie's presence, was, there wasn't a lot of like Annie in the series when the female titan came up. So I was like, yep, this is Annie. And also like her, the female titan's fighting techniques. Talking about the female titan, well basically Ellen, Mikasa, and Armin have to go in like underground to escape and that's where Ellen is supposed to become a titan but he's not able so he just keeps on biting his hand and it's like a big like mess. So Armin gets the idea to um, what to make Mikasa go out of one section of the underground passage and he'll go out of the other section and Annie's going to like target one of the people and during that time Ellen could escape from the section that Annie didn't target and yeah I guess that plan was pretty genius but I'm sure they could have thought of something better but there was like time constraints because the other option was to be um stepped on by Annie so it was good that Armin made that plan because they were able to escape. But during that scene, what really annoys me is that um, Annie has her back turned and Mikasa could clearly like cut her neck. But for some reason, Annie um, Annie's hand blocks her neck, and she 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 always protects herself that way. And I find that really annoying because invincible. So no matter how quiet you are, she's always protecting her neck. In, in a way, it kind of makes her invincible, but I'm sure there's going to be a way to defeat her in future episodes. Hopefully the next episode, because the next episode is the last episode of season one. After everyone's out of the tunnel, but Ellen, because he gets stuck in debris and he's extremely hurt. Basically, there's a scene that... um. Uh, they lure Annie into a section of the town, and then I forget the girl's name. She kind of looks like Sasha, but she's like in, she's like better than Sasha, and she like likes Titans a little, kind of, in a weird way. She basically has traps ready, and I was watching, and they detonate the traps, and they get um the female Titan on the ground and then they like put a prickly net on top of her and I'm watching this and I'm like how do you honestly think that this is going to defeat or stop the female titan maybe if it was a regular titan it would have been possible but we're talking about a female titan who's Annie so I don't know what they were doing was that I found that pretty weird and then she, the person who looks like Sasha which I forget the name goes down and stabs the female titan in the eye but I'm no eye expert but if you want to do damage on somebody's eye wouldn't you stab like the black section of the eye and not the white section so anyways yeah that plan failed because Annie escaped destroyed the traps and I think killed a few people no big surprise and during all this time Ellen is um stuck in debris that Ellen basically realizes that like he has to turn into a titan to save everyone and this is the scene, this is like the last scene of the episode. You have Ellen stuck in debris with a big like rod of wood. Like 
through him. It's like pretty gruesome and disgusting in a way and blood spurting everywhere and he turns into a titan after that and he basically runs to Annie and yes next episode is probably going to be the big battle now what's what I really enjoyed this episode because it was action packed um a lot of um 3d maneuver gear versus Annie kind of battles which was actually very good to nice to watch last episode it was more on um uh, how corrupted the um, police are and, and the army is. And at the end we get a glimpse of Annie turning into the female titan. But this episode was like full of action. And I actually really liked it. And unfortunately there's only one episode left. Episode 25 for season 1. And I'm sure they're going to do a season 2 because Attack on Titan is an extremely popular series right now. Basically, uh, you watch the opening credits and it's like, not your blood pressure, but your heart rate goes up like an excitement. Like, yeah, episode 24 is about to start. You watch episode 24, it's like, full of action. Like, I don't know, there was one scene where like, two soldiers do some kind of like, acrobatic stunt to, um like run away from a titan or something but that was like super cool stuff like that basically and you're 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 really excited and you're really excited to see when ellen's going to turn into a titan and in the back of your head you're like yeah knowing tv it's going to be at the end so we watch next week but i would still watch next week no matter what like it's attack on titan and yes basically and you watch the ending credits and yeah the ending credits are so so I like the opening more. Yes, to conclude, I would highly suggest to go watch episode 24 or the, or the whole series if you haven't. And as always, have a good day and goodbye.